there is a harsh weather uh, as far as the sinus uh, infections are concerned it is harsh for normal individuals as well as for the susceptible individuals especially the extremes of ages like uh, children or the old people or also the uh, people suffering from chronic uh, diseases uh, there are four five factors which are the cause of uh, sinusitis during this uh, months the first most important is the uh, cold temperature itself when the individual uh, is outside the nose reacts there is a lot of congestion a lot of uh, secretions in the nose and uh, this congestion and swelling can cause the sinuses to block and cause sinusitis the second important factor is that most of us uh, use dry heaters inside the rooms during this uh, months the dry heaters can cause severe drying of the air inside the room and can cause dryness in the mouth in the mouth in the nose and crusting happens and that can block and uh, cause the sinusitis the third thing is that the viruses uh, uh, are very rampant uh, during this uh, period especially the influenza and the family so uh, the susceptible individuals individuals can eat very easily uh, contract the virus infections fourth thing is there are certain there are certain allergens in this period uh, especially certain trees and uh, plants which pollinate in this um, weather the susceptible individuals who are allergic uh, can get severe attacks of allergies and then later on sinusitis as a ENT surgeon i would recommend four or five things to be done during this period to prevent sinus infections number 1 is uh, we must keep ourselves warm adequately with adequate clothing we must avoid sudden exposure to temperatures like uh, we go uh, suddenly out of a dry heated room outside or we come from outside suddenly into the dry heated room so this sudden change in temperature can uh, alter the reaction of the nose and can cause sinusitis uh we must have adequate hydration we have must have plenty of fluids to drink we must have plenty of water to drink and uh, we must have nutritious diet during this period the other thing is that the rooms which where we live must have adequate ventilation or at least intermittently we must uh, allow the normal fresh air to come inside the room which will prevent this uh, this uh, dryness The fifth thing is that uh, the individuals who are allergic are uh, have to treat their allergies adequately during this period and they must prevent any further flare up of allergies to prevent sinusitis. The sixth thing is that when the uh, uh, the, the all those people who are living inside or staying inside the heated rooms they must have uh, nasal saline nasal sprays uh, very frequently especially four five times in a day or maybe they can take steam inhalations from time to time during a day and uh, to to moisten up uh, the nose and uh, keep the humidity intact inside the nose to prevent sinusitis the uh, final thing that i would recommend is that in spite of everything if uh, still the individual contracts the sinus infection in the form of uh, in the form of headache in the form of nas- nasal congestion blockage nasal secretion nasal discharge he must consult an ent doctor and not resort to over the counter medication or self medication thank you